Good morning everybody and once again welcome to the video this is going to be a very 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 interesting lab because we are going to use AWS Lambda for web scraping you heard it right so now this video that is lab number 19 I'm going to show you how to scale your web scraper to 1000 scraper per second using Lambda function I hope you're excited I'm excited uh, as well to teach you with this technique I essentially scrape 3,500 university reviews. So I have total scraped 15,000 reviews with just lambdas. Let me show you, let me teach you how to approach this, okay? So let's get started with the video. All right, so the first step you need to do is you need to come to the IAM management console and then you need to click on uh, add user and you need to uh, essentially generate an IAM um, access key and uh, secret key, okay? Assuming you guys have done that, and let me just adjust my screen so you guys can see the entire window. All right, so assuming you just did that, now what you wanna do, you wanna come to this GitHub, okay? This is uh, the repository that I have. So again, lab code and all, everything is there. So you need to download this file called Chrome chromeheadless.zip. Download that, and then what you wanna do is you wanna come to the Lambda function, you wanna come to layers, click on create layers, call this Selenium, Upload that zip file, select on ARM86 and runtime is 3.7, okay, important. All right, now let's hop onto the serverless labs, okay, I'm excited. So, so this is going to be lab 18, as I said, right, you, you should have two files, lambda handler and serverless.yml file, right. So before that, uh, a little bit basics about a uh, web scraping, right, so this is the website, right. Each website has two components, a parent and a loop component. So I'll use a, a tool to demonstrate and to explain you uh, how the, everything works, okay? So I'll use this tool, okay? So what you see here is this is called the parent where all essentially entity that you wanna scrape is there inside. This is called a loop element where your, your scrape elements are, right? So hopefully if I can hover this properly, or let me try to do this one. This one, this is called the loop element, right? Now inside the loop, you have child element. This is a child element, child element, child element, child element, right? So you wanna scrape these items. So now hopping onto the code, I defined my Selenium WebDriver modules. I defined all my class called WebDriver, Hashlib. And uh, these are some of the helper cl class that I wrote essentially for pagination, right? So if you observe here, this is exactly what I did. I have a parent, a loop, uh, and essentially the component, the child component that I wanna scrape. Now let's take a look at the serverless.yml file in a second. So provider, right? Uh, so here I'm defining my service as SLS scraper. I'm using .env, right? If I wanna use any environment variables, right? Uh, provider here as AWS uh, region, runtime, memory size is using 512 megabytes. Okay, architecture is x86, and I'm just using some tags to essentially uh, better uh, monitor my resources, right? As easy as that, right? See how easy is the deployment. So, lamb, so the function, lambda, then the handler is, um, you know, the Python file name. And I'll try my best again to show you. So come down, uh, let me come down. All right, here, lambda handler is the Python file name. And inside that, we have a Python function over here, which is called the lambda handler. So which is why we named it like this. You can name it whatever you want. A uh, timeout I'm giving 850, which is 14 minutes for web scraping, right? Layers is the Selenium layers that we just uploaded. So come to here, come here and scroll on the bottom section and copy this here. So I've defined that in my uh, uh, YML file. And then what you gotta do, you gotta say the magic word. And you, if, if you guys know what's the magic word, the magic word is SLS deploy. And this will essentially deploy your entire stack, okay? At this point, I am all set and I have a simple test to make sure that this works. I have um, a URL that I wanna scrape. So of course you can pass this through an API gateway or any other thing, right? So if you go to this URL, you will see Stanford University and all their reviews, right? So now I wanna scrape this on the Lambda, right? So what I do is now I come to my Lambda function right here, right? Uh, and come to the code. So you should be able to see all the code here, right? That we wrote, all this code. Now, all you gotta do is just click on the test button. Once you click on the test button, when you go to CloudWatch and look at this magic, you have all essentially 
items scraped from their website. So name Maria, uh, Maria. she gave a review on Stanford uh, University, so you can search her here. Yeah. While I was at Stanford Uni University, I struggle and I thrive. It is the art to see both of these, uh, of those objectives together, blah, 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 whatever, X, Y, Z. So now, as you can see, uh, oops, sorry. I, as you can see, I have all the reviews scraped, right? Now, what, what does this mean, right? This means I can fan out insane. I can start a thousand workers and these thousand lambdas are gonna crawl over the website. They're gonna scrape all the reviews. So this is, this is how you do things at scale using serverless function, right? Python script that runs in a loop, yeah, it's gonna take one or two days, but people need data fast, right? Which is why uh, skills for a cloud is very, very important because cloud essentially helps you to fan out, to scale out, right? So here I was able to scale out, right? Um, now, if you observe, um, right, uh, all the data is in this uh, data lake, my university um, folder, right? And I, I'll just show you one random. So I essentially create a hash so that, um, so I'll download this one and I'll show it, show that to you, right? So now I literally pay like, pennies for like scraping 15,000 universities at scale. That's the beauty of Amazon, right? Uh, you, could, you could scrape things, right? Uh, so now, as you can see here, uh, let me show you that in the JSON formatter. So we'll come to the JSON formatter and I'll show you this JSON in a, in a, in a, in a better way so that you can see this. Okay, so we'll click on process. There you go, guys. I have my entire, um, so I have the name of the university and I have all the review script in a very nice way on the, my AWS S3. So what does this lab teach you? Well, this lab teaches you how to essentially use Selenium on AWS Lambda function. Uh, an important note that I want to make, uh, this is a very important setting. And again, if you see the code, you will understand everything in, 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 uh, pretty well. So I have a class called WebDriver and essentially the, the the path should be in the OPT and the Chrome driver. This is important, okay? If you don't make this change, uh, your scrapers are not gonna work, okay? As I said, use this bare bone code that I have and start developing uh, your scrapers. Now scale your scrapers on Lambda function and literally you pay cents for scraping one million or two million, like you'll just pay like a dollar or two, right? So, it's literally that easy uh, to essentially develop web scrapers and scale it using AWS Lambda function. Thank you so very much for watching. This entire code for the scraper is in my lab section, including uh, all the steps that you need. So you would have your layers that you need to upload and then you need to put the ARN in the serverless.yml and all you gotta do is just say SLS deploy. Once deployed, Go to the console, click on the orange button test, and you should see all the sites, all the reviews being scraped in a nice way in a CloudWatch. You could upload these reviews on DynamoDB, Redshift, S3, then query via Athena, do whatever you want. Thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling, keep learning, and we'll explore more and more about AWS and Lambdas and a lot other services.